Hi everyone, let's solve the problem distribute candies. So Alice has n candies where the ith candy is of type candy type i. Alice noticed that she started to gain weight. So she visited a doctor. The doctor has why Alice to e only eat n by 2 of the candies she has. n is always even and Alice likes her candies very much and she wants to eat the maximum number of different types of candies while it still follows the doctor advice. So given the integer array candy type of length n and we have to return the maximum number of different types of candies c can eat if c only eats n by 2 of them. So in the example one we have candy type array is this which has candy type like 2 of candy type 1, 2 of candy type 2, 2 of candy type 3. So total we have 3 different type of candies and in total the n is 6. So what Alice can do take one one candy of each type. So the maximum uh, three types three as well as n by two is also three. So Alice can eat maximum three different types of candies. So answer is three. Similarly, in second example, we have three different types of candies, but n is four. So Alice can eat n by two, which is two. So here only Alice can either eat one or two or one or three or two. 3 any of these two combination of 2 out of 3 so the answer is 2 similarly here the candy type all are same type which is 6 and n is 4 so n by 2 is 2 so there is only one way because there is only one distinct candy so alice can has only one maximum type so this is problem is very straightforward so what we need to do we need to find out how many distinct types of candies in the array given and what is the n by 2 so whichever is minimum we have to return that so ha to find out the unique candy type so we can use a very good data structure you must have guessed already the chat so we will use the hash chat so let's write the code directly here so for set we will create an integer set set new hash chat initialize from the new hash chat and now it read through the candy types so candy int C in candy type we will add into the set and uh, after that we just return minimum either the candy type dot length which is n by 2 or the set dot size that's it so this is the solution so let's compile the code so code is compiling and we are getting correct answer so let's submit the code and it got accepted so the time complexity of this solution is o of n as you can see here we are iterating all the candy type once and as well as space complexity is also o of n as you can see we are storing into the set in worst case like all the candy type is unique and all will go is into the set so the time and space complexity both is o of n where n is the length of our candy type so this we can also write in a one line in using java 8 lambda and collect streams so here we just change this part of set we just first create a stream from the candy type a stream from the candy types and then walk them to the integer object and after that collect this using collectors dot to set so this is java 8 stuff i am doing and then find out the size that's it and we again return the minimum so let's compile this code as well so it got compiled and let's submit the code so the time and space complexity is same for this code as well so if you like this solution hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching